Hello everybody, I'm Kachu Player and welcome back to another episode of Elenoa. Just now we just resume where it was on this amazing game. If I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of things going on on this. So much so, I unfortunately for you guys and for me, I had to stop. I had no other choice, otherwise it's going to be a long video. And I don't build very long. But now, we need to go Shopping really quickly. Come on, Roy. Hello, All right, Michael. Time here. Come on, Roy. Go shooting. Yeah, we really look like we're gonna make sure the mafia and I uh, to be honest what I see and of course you will see the last episode it looks like this will be the last case of vice. BARs <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it! Oh god damn, oh immediately. Oh by the way, before I forget, thank you so much guys for reaching me out for 400 subscribers. Really happy. Shit, there's no one much cover. Stay down! Move, I got <laughs> I know. Come on, he had something out there to climb. There he is. Come on, fellas. Okay, physical oh, Phelps. I got ya. LAPD, drop the gun now. Classic mobster strike, huh? No, obviously there's something behind in this pocket. Number and restaurant table. May I do I hit? I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. 
Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. These guys now for Marines and they become a bus driver. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Wait, wait, hang on a minute. I don't believe you, Felix. I've got gunmen blasting away at innocent citizens. This is getting out of hand. Is there something you want to tell me? I appreciate you calling me a liar, detective. You want to prove that I was involved? Well, there's a manifest. Looks like I was mistaken. Wait, what is his name? Phoenix Alvaro. Phoenix Alvaro. Now you know what? I'm gonna do the intuition. This time. Damn it. For old time's sake. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Felix, Damn we didn't it. go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Jack Kelso. Pretty cool huh. customer. He's been under fire before. Buying a story? Not for a minute. No. Oh, I, wait, 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 wait. There's a phone. Let me use the phone. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Yeah, the very, very, very personal for now. Huh? How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thank you. Damn it, I'll run out of intervention. Oh, intuition, that will be hard now. I could have made my real intuition here, my big brain here. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Okay, why ha- okay. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. What? What do you have to do here? What do you think? Homicide. You got a maze, you can get that. 
Don't tell me we may waste my time here. Uh, you got a problem, pal? Wrinkled was not one of the things I wanted to do. Ah, oh, come on, you waste my time here. So what the fuck do I have to do here? Corner. No wait, it's What? Oh so let's go to Castle Apartment then. So what next? All your war buddies. How cozy. We need to go embrace Jack Kelso. Yeah, I agree. Come on. Wait my fucking time here, game. What the hell? You know the way. You can drive. What the hell, game? Will you fucking waste my time? I had just a lot of posters here, just like a marker. <sighs> okay, let, let's time to use my big brain to interview council. Which unfortunately is my not very good. Idea. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you! Hmm. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. This is a fucking problem. about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. This is going nowhere. I'm done with this. Shit. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. God damn it! Well, guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Jack. I know you want to help your guys, but this has gone too far. If you believe I had anything to do with the theft of the BARs or the morphine for that matter, I suggest you produce some evidence. I've had enough of this. You're wasting my time. God damn it. I can I really want to use the the situation but what do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. How 
I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? I hope you have something to back that up. I won't let you hide behind your rank any longer. You can tick me off your little list. I'm not involved. Fuck. Jack, I just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump. With this $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm gonna be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Come on, Roy. How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged today? Oops, sorry Roy. Damn it, it's harsh. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. You go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. I try, Roy. Come on, Roy, shoot him. It's no good, we need to get closer. Hit him, Cole, spin him out. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Come on, Roy. Do Get something. Close and scare him off the tar. Hit it. Clear this asshole off the road. Give up it. Also, huh. an LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Damn it. Owen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Sheldon.
We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. There is oh another journal. LAP LAPD vice candle. Go all the way to the top. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Man. Roy! District Attorney. Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? Name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war. Who has let his beautiful wife and kids down. Who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD. And his commitment to the public. <gasps> we all serve. Fuck you, Roy. You betray me. Tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? You piece of shit, Roy. You are fucking piece of shit, Roy. How dare you? You betray me like this? Uh, okay, now we don't want this body. Roy, you asshole. Wait, is there something important the trash can hidden? No, of course not. And a car. Nope. Come on, Roy, you asshole traitor. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine and they're waiting for someone to crack. Oh, the Johnny CF. Steer him off the tar. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Ah, oh, come on. No, I'm gonna lose it. No, I'm gonna lose it. Shit. Ah, oh, come on. What? Ah, oh, uh, come on. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. The cook took you can take a while. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Come Hit on, bro. Spin him out. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! 
step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. LAPD, put your hands in the air. <sighs> Finally. That's it, we're gonna investigate nothing. Okay, Roy, you drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Where are we going? Yeah, it's me, boy. Radio action for them against the mob, huh? I think we need a little more firepower and uh, We need way more firepower, buddy. Yes, right. We're giving ground, move up. We're gonna tag the rest of them. Ah, 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 you can't escape for me. Throw out the guns. Eh, uh, yeah, you need the yeah, right tools as a job. Uh, with this baby here. <coughs> He's alive. Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. <sighs> Polar Bear Ice Company. You really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Yeah, hey, it wasn't that company of the beginning of Vice. It is, right? Huh. Nothing. Uh, well, I can check the clock, so. No, there's more going on.
Aha. No. Should I get the pockets? Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. These are good guys. I think get wrapped up in this thing. I don't know. to the face of temptation, Cole. Hope we have no trouble. Roy, come on. Can you drive to this one? This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Yeah, uh, this is probably be the last kid of Vice. Mob strikes and my war bird is going down. Alright, let's kill these rat bastards. It was Mickey over there. Motherfucker. Show yourself. Cover you. How long do you think you can hold up? On the roof, call next. I'm wide open here. Don't worry. Find some cover. <laughs> For it after them. No, 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 no. Don't you, don't you dare to run away. Don't you dare run against me, boy. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that list. APL to Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, huh. be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a roger. <laughs> Car 11 King en route. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine, where are we headed? You know where you're headed, Roy. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap! No buts. This is more important. Poor guy must be going crazy. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn. Hey, Sheldon. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, 
That's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. I have to use the ventilation. They are no choice. Wait, what is the question? Uh, You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Jack isn't scared of you, Phelps. And none of us were. Shit. We just followed your orders. My orders? You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Oh, come on. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? We finished here? God damn it! I will miss have everything! You finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does. Because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. God damn it, Roy. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Yeah, on this part, it was all in your files, but come on, bro. You betray your partner? Come on. Oh, the damn the cold wife. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie, they're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie, can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father, 
has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Yeah, it's right. Don't run, motherfucker. Really? And now you're back here? Jeez, Rokoro, come on. Come on, Rukol, really? Oh, there's a clue, so that's why I'm demoted. <laughs> demoted, I uh, demoted. Yeah, well, after what happened, I cannot prove I'm gonna get the promotion. I demoted. And now, if they set advice, now I go to Arsons. <sighs> Getting a marine like Felix though to direct his body would require some to question and solid evidence. Oh I must come on. It was super harsh. What the fuck man? I I spent all my tuitions. And even my spend my tuition, I get all fucking wrong. It was harsh. And then oh wow. I really think this is the last case of Vice because there are a lot of things going on right at the start. Uh, there are a lot of things, uh, of course, it happens out a lot of, uh, I could say, uh, personal things for Cole. Oh man. Well, that is it for this episode of Elaine Noir. I know. I it was getting longer than usual, but I have no other choice. But uh, let's continue because there's a lot of things going on, and it, it, it was non non stop. So, <clears throat> so thank you guys so much to watch my video. If you enjoy, give a like and subscribe, and comment, uh, put your comments down below what you think about this episode. And stay tuned for more content yet to come. So, remember folks, here we are winners, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye bye!